And good morning once again. I'm Cheryl Miller. It's a beautiful, crisp, sunny day. We are here live at Lewis Ginder Botanical Garden in Lakeside. Ashley Green is here with me, and we're going to give you a great preview of Oktoberfest, which is coming up next weekend. They've got a wedding on tap for this weekend. So exactly. Things yeah. will still be busy, and things are already a buzz here this morning, early morning. I walked through, and there were so many crews working, and everything's ready. And We're, we're getting ready for it's going to be a beautiful day, a busy day um, here at the gardens, and we're excited. We're excited about the upcoming uh, festivities. Well, Mother Nature has set the scene for you because the weather has turned crisp, and that, that exactly. to me says October and Oktoberfest. This is the fourth annual, so is this a, a festival that gets bigger and bigger every year? Every year it seems to grow. We're partnering with Feed More and Center of the Universe. We're really going to make try and make this um, the best one yet. Um, we have quite a few different German style foods and um, Center of the Universe is uh, having some beer uh, that everybody is available to sample. Um, so we're really excited. Well, we'll talk about the food in just a second, but I want to get back to feed more for a second because you're asking people not to come empty handed. You're asking them to come and help out feed more. Yeah, everybody who brings in a can uh, for a donation is going to be able to enter into a raffle. We're going to give away some pretty awesome prizes. That's wonderful. People have to come to find out what those prizes are. We'll, exactly. we'll keep a little something a secret. Oktoberfest to me means food and beer, but this is really a family event, isn't it? Exactly. We're going to have giant lawn games um, available for kids and adults, um, creating it a great family atmosphere. Jackass Flats is going to be playing. They're a really great, upbeat band, um, and they're going to be playing throughout the day. Um, so we're hoping to keep the energy lively and uh, keep it that true Oktoberfest uh, feel. And it's a wonderful time, too, to come to the garden. Everything is in transition from the beautiful colors of summer into the colors of fall. We've already got a tree behind us that Mother Nature has already sprinkled with the colors of fall. Yes, <laughs> yes, we're excited about it. Absolutely. Let's talk about you and your crew because there's going to be so much food here next weekend. What's the preparation for that like? Uh, just a lot of because this is our fourth annual, we got to learn a lot about the last couple of years and what works, what doesn't work. Um, we have quite a quite a spread, as you can tell. Some our favorite Let's is talk this about this hot soup. steaming soup that I can warm my hands over. And it right smells here. so good, it really and it's does. just something that is is quite it's lovely. Beautiful. I'll have you have a little sample of it, just. A little teaser so you kind of understand what everybody else it's is going to be. It's warm, so I might want a lot of this. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll also have some schnitzel, schnitzel witches, which is... Um, oh my gosh, that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and that's made with white cheddar and a, a lager. Okay, so uh, it truly is true, a beer true soup. beer Now, beer it, can kids eat this because it's got the it beer in it? It cooks out. Okay, yes. all right. Yes. <laughs> um, German potato salad with uh, loads of bacon and herbs, um, schnitzel witches, uh, which is a breaded pork cutlet. Mm. Um, and of course, the German chocolate cake and the giant pretzels. You can't go wrong with either of those. No, you can't go wrong with that. So <laughs> is there a favorite that people have tended to gravitate to that when they come out here? Because there's so much to choose from. Uh, the schnitzel witches. Mm -hmm. um, and of course the beer cheese, especially if it's a day like today, some nice warm soup. I mean, as you sampled, it's it's pretty darn tasty. <laughs> and you're pairing this for the adults with some uh, adult beverages, some yes. golden adult beverages, yes. some beers, and uh, Center of the Universe is helping you out with that. Yeah, right here in Ashland, um, they have some beers for us. We have um, the Slingshot Kolsch, which has Pilsner and German malts. Um, so that's, uh, germ exactly. that's a beautiful. We've done a pour this morning. A uh, very, very light <laughs> drinkable. Uh, we also have the Oktoberfest and, and that's, that's going to be darker. a beaut, that mm -hmm. golden amber color. Um, a classic Munich Fest beer. Mm -hmm. um, and one that I'm personally excited about the is called the one. Percolator. Well, here, I'll let you hold that. <laughs> uh, this is an English brown ale and it's infused with cold brew lamplighter coffee. Of course, lamplighter is its an own Richmond coffee. Mm -hmm. You can smell coffee. a little bit of the coffee in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, but definitely. It's, it's not too, not too much. Perfect for a morning like this. A lot of coffee flavors, toffee um, and caramel. That's so really beautiful. tasty. So a little bit of everything for everyone. So exactly. you're issuing the invitation. Absolutely. <laughs> to yep. come on out. We're, we're excited about it. I'm excited about it. We've, so we've got this little preview here. So we'll celebrate through the morning. Thank you, Ashley. Lewis Ginner Botanical Gardens fourth annual Oktoberfest is next Saturday, October 28th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. All the Oktoberfest fun is included with a regular admission to the garden. You can go to WTVR.com slash VTM by earliest afternoon. We'll put a link on there for you to more information.